What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Trayvon, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Unova Red walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we went through a lot just to, you know, get over here to the Rock Tunnel, and off screen, I did a little bit of capturing. I found some pretty cool Pokemon that we could have, uh, we could use right here, and let's see, let me show you guys. We got ourselves Super Squirrel, aka Amolga. This guy right here is an electric and flying type Pokemon, and well, look at this. 24 attack and defense speed is up the roof and the special is right there and you know I did teach it flash just for you know this occasion eventually I'm just gonna be switching it out here and there to see which electric type Pokemon uh, fills my team the best now the next Pokemon I actually found was Maractus at level 17 this guy right here is his special is uh, right there it has a high attack and high special and well I think we're going to need this guy more than anything just so we can actually get by this area. Now, let's go right ahead and, uh, well, take care of business now just because, uh, huh. yeah, there's uh, definitely not a lot of stuff that we can do right here. And, well, first is first, make sure to have a Pokemon that knows Flash. Obviously, Super Squirrel has this. And the other thing, too, is make sure to have repels on you at all times because, yeah, there are going to be some Pokemon right here that, you know, are just going to get up your tits at about every five seconds or so now I would like to know what Pokemon we have in here well I'll actually you know I'll actually uh, you know find out a little bit later on but for right now let's go ahead and start using our newest Pokemon right here see what we can actually get out of these guys and well here we go Pokemon fight ready go alrighty okay so here we go with the Pokemaniac Coming out with a Golit, and this is new right here. Golit. That is a ghost and a ground type Pokemon, and well, I wanted to go with Absorb. I'm gonna go with uh, this one right here, and here comes a Pound Attack. Okay, so here goes the Absorb Attack. And that is super effective right there, okay. And then again, who, who thought that I would be using uh, Maractus right here? I certainly didn't think so, and well, let's see, I probably did it because of its uh, height at, at level 17 right now, and well, look at this, Absorb Attack, taking care of a uh, Golit right here, and look at that, okay, 300 HP, and he's coming out with an Elgium, now this is a new one right here, Elgium, holy crud, holy crud, this Pokemon right here looks, whoa, <laughs> Looks uglier right here than it does in the game right here. So it is both a psychic and ground type, I think. So it really, yeah, it's not gonna be affected by this guy. Now what? Who? Oh yeah, it's a, it's a drowsy. I think it's a drowsy. Yeah, it is a drowsy. So here comes a headbutt again. Yeah, this is gonna keep on going forever. So let's go straight to Killer Croc, and well, we're gonna be finishing it off. Let's see what we got. Growl attack. I've always hated Drowsy's, uh, you know, yell because it, it's just weird. It's just weird for me. It really is. But there it is. We defeated this guy, Maractus, Killer Croc, doing his thing, and well, game over. All right, Triple H, whatever you say. So let's move on right here. And well, let's see. I kind of want to use Emolga just a little bit, mainly because it's a flying type Pokemon. And we're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon higher than our level, and it is. A Rog and Rolla, Maractus, pretty much at the same level. But you know what? It does need a few HP back up, so let's go ahead and defeat this guy. And well, here comes a head. Why does everybody know Headbutt? Seriously, it's getting on my tits right now. So here we go. Absorb. There goes Rog and Rolla. And well, there it is. Okay, so no more getting attacked by that guy. And well, this guy is happy. He's just too happy to be there. So let's go right ahead and let's see. If I know this guy, he, he's the guy with the the slow poke. So let's go with Killer Croc. More than likely, he's gonna be using some kind of psychic type Pokemon right here. I draw Pokemon when I'm at home. Okay. I draw Dragon Ball Z people when I'm at home. Okay. So he's got one Pokemon, and it's a Loma Mola. Now this is the Pokemon we need to actually trade for that other legendary Pokemon, but here we go with the Crunch Attack. Not so effective, and that right there hits me pretty hard. Alright, uh, yeah. 
It is only a ghost type. I thought it would I thought it would be like a water type Pokemon, and wow, it is a water type Pokemon. Never mind, it is a water type Pokemon, but it's a uh, not a ghost type. I don't know what got into my head about that. But that right there takes care of that, and Killa Croc continues to be my strongest Pokemon right now. Which is which is all fine. Alrighty, let's move on. There's trainers all over the place. Can't catch our breath. It, yeah. <laughs> so one thing I really don't like about the Kanto region is that the, the trainers were their play. So let's go straight to Super Squirrel, see where he gets us. And I don't often come here, but I will fight you. Okay, alrighty. Let's do this. Going with a Pokemon trainer right here. Here comes a Pants Age. And I chose the worst Pokemon for this this aspect right here because it does not have any kind of a any move. So let's go straight to Tranquil right here. Okay, Tranquil, do your job. And that lick does not affect my Tranquil. So let's go straight for a Gust Attack. Oh, Jeebus. Okay, let's go Gust Attack. Yes. Okay. Alrighty. One more. And wow, Fury Swipes. Probably gonna hit me five times, right? No. There we go. Gust Attack does it again. And Pants Age has been defeated. Alrighty, alrighty. And well, here comes a Snivy. Let's continue on right here. Now, originally I was going to be using Snivy on my team. Like, uh, just to get through this whole area and crap faster than me. There we go. Okay, I thought I was gonna use Rap uh, every single time. I would. Okay, well, let's move on. Yeah, originally I was going to use Snivy on my team just so we can uh, get by here, but then as soon as I found Maractus, that was a game changer right there for us, so decided that, you know what, let's go right ahead and use Maractus instead, just for this area right here. Yeah, let's go with Kill a Croc right here. He needs uh, some HP, and I probably should have bought some more Super Potions, but we'll, 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 we'll make do right here. There we go, Maractus. And, well, let's go with Kill a Croc. Alright. Oh, yeah, by the way. Uh, need repels on at all times. Now, let's see what we got. Okay, so this guy... You know what? Let's continue right here. He probably does have a slow poke. Do you know about costume players? You mean cosplayers? That's probably what, what he's talking about. So, here we go. Pokemaniac wants the battle, and he's coming with a Tepig. Ah, oh, crud. Yeah, I, I did not pick the right Pokemon for this one right here, so let's go straight to Mudslide. Alright, Mudslide. Do your thing. Tackle attack. Hits us pretty hard. Bubble Beam. We'll hit him even harder. Alrighty, and... Well, the speed has fallen. Which is okay, but... I think we could do a little bit better with more. And there we go. Tepig has been defeated. And let's see. Well, he's going to be coming out with a Golit, so let's continue on right here with Mudslide. This area right here is where Mudslide gonna, uh, is going to thrive. And, well, its speed has fallen, but here comes a Mega Punch, and that right there, Crap Basket, destroys Mi Mudslide. Oh, crud. All right, Super Sir, let's go. Oh, this is getting annoying. Uh, it's, it's, oh, crap. I just realized something. It's a ground type goddamn Pokemon. Alright, uh, Maractus, let's go. Yeah, I wasn't even thinking on that that part right there. So here comes a. Well, a defense girl, but here comes a absorb attack. And, well, let's see, pound attack does it. Here we go. Absorb. Yes, okay, Gullet defeated. And Super Squirrel grows to level 14, which is great. And Maractus, level 18. So, okay, so we're doing some... We're doing good. Okay. It's just... God dang, freaking... Mutts like can't stop getting fainted and all that stuff. So, I'll be right back with you guys. Need to go revive a Pokemon here. Alrighty, guys, I'm back. And, well, off screen, I purposely went through this whole area. Well, went through the beginning stages of the rock tunnel just to check out what Pokemon we can actually find. And we found ourselves a Shatter, or, you know, a, uh, what was it called again? Uh, can't remember its name. Damn. What do we call a Shatter? Let's see, hold on just a sec. 
Let's see, let's see, let's see. Du -du -du -du. We found ourselves. See, this is what happens when you don't. Uh, scraggy, yes, we found ourselves a scraggy. Caught him at level 17. Its skin is rubbery. It can pull it up to its uh, head to protect itself from attacks. We caught him. And now it's at the PC, which is great because, you know, well, we're going to hopefully get him a little stronger if we ever get a Oshawa in this thing right here. Remember. Thinking of, uh, you know, bringing back the old team from Pokemon Black, seeing what we can do with them and all that crud. So here we go. Hiker coming in and wanting to come out with a Rogan Rolla. Luckily for us, we do have Mudslide. There is a, uh, well, there is a bit of a level disadvantage, but we got the type advantage, and that right there takes half of its HP. Here comes a Rock Throw. Oh crud, oh crud, oh crud. Okay, so. See, this is what really gets at me with Mudslide, is that it's not entirely, like, its defense is not there yet. And once it evolves, it starts becoming a little bit more bulkier, and right now it's learning Mud Shot, which is a move that we desperately need. And, well, let's go right ahead and take away Growl. And there we go. And Mudslide held its own against a Rogan Rolla. And, well, it doesn't evolve just yet. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a while. Hey, wow, wow. And, well, we gotta use another Super Potion for this guy. Let's go right ahead and continue our adventure right here. And this guy, more than likely, will have a... Let's see, let's go ahead and start, start it off with Maractus, just in case. Hit me with your best shot! Whatever you say, homeboy. And here we go, Hiker wants the fight, and he's coming with his Timber. So, Timber, what's up? Kinda wanted to... Yeah, okay, we got a peck attack right here from Maractus, which is good. And, well, there's that low kick. Low kick to the low groin and all that stuff. So, here we go. Peck attack again, again. And Timber, not liking it. So, yeah, we're gonna use growth right here. There we go. Special has gone up. And there we go. We're just going to increase our attack just a little bit more until this guy, uh, the bite attack, just wears out. And nothing happens. And because of that, we're going to use Absorb. And there goes Timber. Okay. Alrighty. And we're buffed up right now, so let's just continue our attack right here. Now, this is... Yeah, okay. So, if we use Absorb, it's not... Okay, never mind. It's going to actually work against this guy. I actually thought that, you know, it's bug type would actually nullify that whole thing. So, let's go. Absorb attack. Bam. Damn you, we will just die. And there's a scratch attack. So, let's go with a peg attack. Super effective. Not really. And, well, there we go. Fired away. That's right. We fired you away. Let's get the heck out of here. And let's move on to the next stage right here. And you know what? Let's see. I I desperately want to get another Pokemon at level 20 right here. So I wouldn't want to use Super Scroll right now. But this right here looks like it's a mud flat kind of job. Or mud slide. This tongue no looks, uh, goes a long way, kid. It does. It really does. Alrighty. Let's see. Hiker wants the battle. And he is coming out with a Rog and Rolla. Alright, Rogarola. Let's go with the bubble beam. And there we go. Rogarola defeated. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be okay right here. So with 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 sand or mudslide. And look at that. Mudslide Oh man, nearly defeats this guy. So let's go with the bubble and crap baskets. There goes a mud shot. And our speed has fallen, but it's okay. There we go. Alright, Mudslide's actually doing something now. Okay, and coming out with a Dweeble, it's fine with me. Alright, let's go with a Faint Attack right here. Good gravy, okay. Here we go. Bubble Beam, come on! And almost does it. And it's withdrawing, okay. So it's withdrawing right here. Let's go, Mudslide. Doing it! It's doing it. Yeah, buddy. Okay, and well, let's go with another rock and roller. Let's take care of business with Mudslide here. Yes, okay! 
Mudslide is thriving now. Finally, it is on a four match winning streak right here. And it grows to level 21. Thank you. Thank you very much right there. And yes, we win. Okay, so obviously we're going to have to stock up on a little bit more potions right here. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay, so everybody... Okay, everybody's doing well. We, we could use some Pokemon, some are not. And, well, let's go right here. There's another Rock-type trainer. So let's go right ahead and battle him. Hmm, maybe I'm lost in here. Probably are. Okay, let's do it. Here we go. Coming out, Dweeble wanting to battle. And Mudslide finally within his level 20s. It could actually do some stuff right here. So here we go, Bubble Beam. Try not to waste it all. And let's see. There it is super effective, but still... It gets hit pretty hard with a critical hit right there. God dang it. And there we go. Dweeble is no more. And well, let's see. Coming out with a... It's coming out with a Durant, so let's see. Oinkinator, you're, you're up right here. Durant obviously is a Steel-type Pokemon. This is the, probably like the first time I'm seeing this guy right here. So let's go Ember Attack. And, well. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There it is. And, well, coming out with the Rug and Roller again. Let's go straight to Maractus now. The goal is to try and get some of these Pokemon up to level 20. Eventually, we're going to have to be battling, uh, you know, Erica of the Cel Celadon City Gym. But we kind of want to get our Pokemon nice and strong just in case for this whole situation. And, well, here comes a Harden. And here we go. Another Absorb Attack. Does the trick. Look at that. Rogarola had no chance. Oh, yes. And Maractus grows to level 19. Alrighty, okay, we're doing some good stuff right here. There we go, okay. Okay, I see you, and, well, let's see, no. We got one more trainer, and, let's see, outsiders like you need to show some respect! Uh, shoot. Outs okay, so shoot. respect of what, man? I I'm trying to figure that shit out. Okay, so here goes, Rog and Rolla, and, well, here comes a mudslide now. I probably should have killed my Pokemon before this, but... Oh well, and there we go. Nearly defeats Rog and Rolla. Good gravy. And yeah, this will probably screw me over. No, not really. There we go. Rog and Rolla defeated. And this guy's gonna come out with a Boldor. Now Boldor is a little stronger than uh, expected, so we're gonna go with Oinkinator right here. Look at this guy. Boldor looking like a Boldor. And, well, let's go with the low kick. Oh, yes, look at that. Oh, nearly defeats Boulder. Shoot, I'm really getting sick and tired of, like, using super effective moves and god dang near defeating these guys. Okay, there we go. I just want them all done. Defeated. And there we go. Dead. Okay, so he gives. Alrighty, okay, so let's move on. I would like to say that we're on the tail end of this whole place, but... That's probably not, yeah, that's probably not the case right here. Now, again, I should be checking out what Pokemon are in here, because every single level probably has, like, a different Pokemon. But I could be wrong. Let's see, there's nothing right there. There's a girl right there, so more than likely she's going to have, like, a... She's going to have grass types, so let's go straight to Tranquil. Alright, bring it on, sister. Hikers leave twigs as trail markers. Hmm, that is true. That is true. I don't know why anybody else would have thought of that. Okay, so here we go. Audino. Holy crud. Okay, so we're taking on Audino right here. As many of you guys already know, Audino does have a crap load of HP. And if you defeat one, either in battle, uh, a trainer battle, or in a wild battle, you get a buttload of H, uh, experience points. And this guy right here is not, like, yeah, not letting me live right now. So here we go. Gust attack. Yeah, this Pokemon is not going away anytime soon. Come on, Tranquil. Come on. Yeah, that right there irritates the crud out of me. Uh, God. Okay, so let's see. Oinkinator, let's do this. Time to finish this guy off. And, well, here comes another Sing attack. Does not affect me, so let's go with a low kick. 
super effective. Say goodbye to Adino. Wish I would have had... Well, there it is. Tranquil actually does grow a level, which is good. And, well, here comes a Pete of... Let's go straight to Super Squirrel. Now, this is a Pokemon that it could very well against. Alright, Super Squirrel, do the Thundershock that you are known in five continents for. And, well, crud. Okay, so we're going to get our defense shocked right there. Look at this. Come on, one more, one more. And there's a Growl attack. Mm -mm. Here we go. Thundershock. Does its thing. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. And, well, let's see. Minchino. Okay, so let's see, let's see. Let's go back to Oinkinator. Mm-hmm. Oinkinator about to do its thing. About to whoop that, you know what? And there we go. Low kick. Does it. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. And, yes, defeated. Alrighty, okay, so let's see. I, you know, from, for the, yeah, I always, I always think it, like, my head is like, okay, I gotta check for items. It's just the force of habit, guys, my bad. And, well, let's see, we can't do anything with Tranquil right now, because it's asleep. Didn't even bother to actually, you know, get myself some, um, whatchamacallit, some awakenings. Didn't even think about that, so let's go ahead and switch. And, well, let's go right ahead and take on this guy right here. <sighs> Can you beat my power? Probably. Woo! Alrighty. Woo! I'm at a DD yawn. Okay, so let's go with a Rog and Rolla. And Mudslide. You're just gonna keep on thriving in here, so let's go straight for a Bubble Beam. Bubble Beam does it. Yeah, okay, alrighty. And here comes another Rog and Rolla, so. Raga Roller, about to do it. Here we go. Raga Roller, dying. Look at that. Okay. Oh wow, it survived. And well, there it is. Let's go straight for a bubble attack. Okay. Hmm. I wonder what level Mudslide actually evolves to. So, all right. Here he's coming out with Bulldoze. So, this is the challenge right here. Level 21, Bubble Beam for the win. Nearly takes this guy out and. Good gravy. Alright, so let's go straight for mud shot. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. Okay, so I kinda screwed up right there. Probably should have Okay, never mind. That actually works. And there we go. Look at that mudslide. It grows to level 22. Feeling great about that. Okay, mudslide, you are kicking ass, taking names. Again, force of habit, thinking that there's items in here, but really there isn't. And that guy is going to have some pretty messed up Pokemon. So let's go straight for Killer Croc, just in case. And let's see. You have a Pokedex? I want one too. Now I kind of, I kind of want to like, kind of want to talk about this for a little bit. Look at that Elgium. Hmm. Uh, when you start your adventure. You get a starter Pokemon, but then you got other people who start with different kinds of Pokemon. Uh, they don't necessarily go with the Pokedex or get the Pokedex. Um, what I'm trying to say is that, like, okay, in the Pokemon world, do you necessarily start out with the starter Pokemon, or is it a rule, or is it just, you know, like, I don't even know. I don't even know how to start this conversation, but you know what I mean, guys. A lot of these trainers have different types of Pokemon. You would think that if you start off with a starter Pokemon, everybody would uh, would have, you know, everybody would have a Pokedex. Everybody would have this, this, and that. But it seems like it's not that, nah, not that. If you guys get what I'm saying, I don't know what I'm talking about right now. So let's go straight to Tranquil right here, I'm trying to revive it and all that stuff. Okay, tail end. Eek! Don't try anything funny in the dark. Oh damn. People in the dark right now. Okay, so here we go, going up against a junior trainer, and she's coming with a cottony. Now there is one little messed up situation right here, and that is Tranquil is asleep. And there we go. It is a uh... okay. So we got seated. Ah, oh, gravy. Okay, so let's go straight to Oinkinator. And there we go. Okay, so Tranquil is back, and. Mudslide. Okay. Oh, crap baskets. Wrong Pokemon. 
I was going for kill the croc. Crap baskets. Okay, so the reason I'm going to the speed button right here is because I kinda wanna wait kinda to wake up wanted to wake up a tranquil right here. It was successful, okay. So that's the only one we're gonna do. Let's go ahead and do that. And Mudslide probably needs another potion right here. And yeah, we are at the tail end of this whole thing, so it shouldn't be a problem. Alright, let's go. Doot, doot, doot. You have Pokemon, let's start! Alright, let's start. Let's go. Right here, Pokemon, and she's coming out with a fight, and she's coming with her P Dove. Okay. I may have chosen the wrong Pokemon, but we're still gonna be battling right here, and. It's gonna be a gust in battle. Okay, so let's go with quick attacks. There we go. And, well, coming out with a Patrat, let's go right ahead and go with the Oinkinator right here. Now, back in the day, I think I've already mentioned this quite a few times playing, you know, different iterations of this game right here. Uh, back then, I had no education on this game. Didn't know what to do. I remember my first try in here, I, I made it all, like, I made it through this whole area uh, without using the flash technique. And I remember... You know, I didn't want to catch more than 10 Pokemon. I was going for, like, the Pokemon I was going for my team. And what else? What else? What else, what else am I trying to say? Yeah, I remember just doing that, not trying to, not getting the HMO5. I mean, if you ask me, HMO5 here is unnecessary, but, you know, it's the beginning of the game and good gravy. But somehow I made it through this whole area. Now, the other thing, too, was that I remember having a poison Pokemon and I didn't know what to do to heal it. it took me quite a while to actually just like figure it out that you know antidotes work for poison this was when I was nine years old I think guys so yeah <laughs> it's been quite a while and look at that Tranquil finally grows to level 20 and well yeah we play hard we play hard and everything else okay so let's see oh snap there is another Pokemon in here. Look! Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> I think I know what Pokemon that is, okay? The only problem is, guys, I don't have... I don't have, uh... Well, we're, we're close to Lavender Town, alright? So... Once we get to Lavender Town, I'm gonna go off screen and, you know... I'll get back to him in just a little bit, but we need to get the heck out of here. Plus, it's easier to get by right here, so let's see. we got to use another repel. Didn't expect him to be here. So, let's go ahead and continue on right here. Promise you guys, we're going to get some more Pokeballs. And they're going to be great balls and stuff, so don't worry about it. we got balls. Lots of balls, alright? And here comes a Minchino. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Alright, let's go with a quick attack. There's that swift attack that never misses. You gotta love that. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's go with another quick attack. There we go. There we go. Here it is. Let's go. Let's go. And, well, it's coming out with a pet a little. Let's continue right here with a uh, good old, uh, oh crap baskets, yeah, Tranquil, I was about to use god dang freaking uh, Gust Attack, but now we're gonna, yeah, we're, we're almost gonna feel the wrath of this guy right here. Now, if I was a, a Vetin Man, which I'm not, I would assume that that Pokemon that's in there is a Terrakian. I could be incorrect, I don't know. Terrakian is one of the three legendary Pokemon of Unova, and, well, it, oh crap. I think I already know if it is a Terrakian, then there is one little issue, and that is that it cannot be affected by any electric type attack. So, yeah, I'm gonna have to go off screen to actually get a Pokemon that knows uh, like any kind of powder moves and all that stuff. And well, there is a wing attack that's not effective. So here we go again, Super Squirrel using the Thunder Shock. Yes. Yes, and look at that, level 15, Super Squirrel, doing his thing, okay, alrighty, yeah, alright, okay, so we're finally going to get the heck out of here, but we're still going to go back in there to capture a Pokemon, so let's go right ahead and heal our Pokemon, 
And let's see what, what else we can do right here. Let's see. That right there. We got two super potions. Might as well use them on these two guys right here. Uh, what else am I supposed to say? Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know what else I'm going to say, but let's go right ahead and let's go with Kill a Croc. I kind of feel like this girl's going to use the Pokemon that she predicted years later. Feeling a faint from this tough hike. Okay, alrighty. See, here we go. Going up against a trainer girl, and she's coming with her P of Coming with Kill a Croc in the flesh. Crunch attack. Oh, yeah. It was a damn good idea to capture this Pokemon at level 30. And, well, let's see. Tranquil's coming. Let's go, Super Squirrel. Come on for the win. Oh, wow. Tranquil looks, uh. Tranquil looks like a chicken in this one right here. I'm not going to lie. So, here we go. Thundershock. Nearly does it, and you know, I, I know that I have Thunder Thunderbolt on me. It's just I don't know which electric type Pokemon I want to use it on yet just yet. And here comes a gust attack. Not effective. But it's still gonna take a nice amount of our HP. So here we go. Tranquil, you have been defeated. Alrighty, and look at that. Level 16 Super Squirrel. Yeah, bud. Okay, alrighty. And, well, the Pokemon here are so chunky, there should be a pink one with flor a floral pattern. Which, of course, she kind of predicted that. And we found ourselves a Max Ether, which is great, too. Now, we got three trainers. Two more trainers, I should say. Yeah, three trainers. Never mind. Alright, it's time for Mudslide to, uh... Or, actually, you know what? Let's go with Maractus. We are close to getting to level 20 with this guy. And, yes. I guess he's laughing at us. I don't know why. Alrighty, okay, alrighty, let's do this. Alrighty, so, let's see, how many, yeah, we got plenty of absorbs. We just need to get to level 20. Again, the team is not set in stone just yet, guys. I, you know, well, like I said, yeah, it's not set in stone. Eventually, you know, we're gonna use that whole missing no uh, cheat if it does work here, and then we're gonna just like you know straight up defeat everybody. Um, hell, I might even make my old Pokemon team, and that's if we get the which we'll call it. Uh, what's his name? Uh, yeah, uh, freaking Oshawa. Can't even remember this guy. See, see, guys, that's what happens when you play football. You kind of forget a lot of stuff. So, oh crud! See that? I just did it again. Okay, so let's see. Let's go with Tranquil right here. Super speed. There we go. Alright, so we did it. Alrighty, so he's not laughing. He's just got a fever. Okay, let's get back over here and take on this guy. Ah, this mountain air is delicious! Hmm. It is delicious. Kinda. I don't know. Alright, so here goes Hiker again, coming with his Dweeble, and I think this might not work out, maybe, oh wait, yeah, it will, got Absorb, it'll actually do the trick right here, oh damn, okay, so it will not uh, actually work that way, okay, so, again, Dweeble is a pretty defensive Pokemon, so let's go with Oinkinator right here, alright, Oinkinator, Oinkinator, and there comes a Sand Attack, I definitely hate that, and let's go with an Ember Attack. Speed button. There we go. We just defeated this guy. And coming out with a Bulldore. Let's go straight to Mudslide. And look at that. That guy is a pretty big Pokemon. I can't wait for its final evolution if you actually, if you can actually find it. I mean, if you guys remember in the original games, where is it that we see a Golem? A person with a Golem? Uh, we Let's see. We've only seen either Machamp or Alakazam with someone, but nobody's ever had a Golem on them, which is kind of annoying because it's like, I thought you were supposed to have every Pokemon on here. Golem's the one Pokemon I could never get on my on my Pokedex, mainly because, well, I didn't own other games at the time, and, well, here's another trainer. Yeah, let's continue on with Maractus. I really don't care. Bring it. Hi, kid. Want to see my Pokemon? Sure. Let's go ahead and see your basics right here. So, let's go. 
And the Pokemon Pokemaniac wants to battle, and he comes out with the Loma Mola. So I picked the right Pokemon for this job right here. Let's go with an Absorb, and yes, that does not work on me. And that is super effective, and I kind of want to just like... God dang it. Okay, so I'm kind of screwed right there. Supersonic again. Confused. God dang it. There we go. Okay, so we're winning, and look at that. Okay, so we come back from the brink of death, and look at that. Maractus grows to level 20, which is good. Coming out with an LGM. Let's go straight to Killer Croc. Now, reason why I'm going with the speed button is because I really, really, really do not like getting confused or just, you know, repetitive attacks. It's just annoying. It really is, guys. And look at that. LGM defeated. Alrighty, okay. Okay, alright. So there it is, guys. Defeated this guy. And, well, I just changed my mind right here. I am going to, you know, pause this game right here because we've been through a lot in one episode. Stay tuned. In the next episode, we're going to go back into the Rock Tunnel and capture, which which I would assume is Terrakian. And, uh, well, let's see what happens from there, okay? Alright, see you guys.